Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Roy Movies. I was going to do an update of all the Blu-rays and 4Ks I've acquired over the last month. I've had quite a bit of stuff stacking up. But my friend Larry, as regular viewers will know to the channel, looks after me. And what he sent me over the last three or four weeks is that incredible. And I think he deserves his own video. Uh, what he sent me has made me happy as Larry to coin a phrase. Absolutely incredible. Um, if it weren't for Larry and James as well, I'd probably have never started a YouTube channel. Uh, they've encouraged me over the last few months, over the last few months, for one reason or another. I've had plenty of time on my hands, so enough time to do these videos to watch plenty of films and this video is really a tribute to Larry who's a great great friend really helped me out every day we talk every day we have a laugh and this is what he sent me over the month which blows me away it's hard to put into words absolutely incredible as I'm sure you'll see when I show you what he sent me uh, firstly we've got a Stanley Long film who also made the adventure series and a series of bawdy British sex comedies to turn a phrase. Another way to describe it really. I'd never heard of this one. It looks like it's going to be really funny. It's got some great British English comedians. My namesake Roy Kinnear, rest in peace. Uh, Christopher Biggins, is he still going? Surely not. I've not heard anything from him for years. And it's directed by Martin Campbell, who's directed uh, Casino Royale and Goldeneye, believe it or not. So, yeah, really looking forward to having a watch of that. It's going to be some good fun. Next, Larry sent me a film. I watched and reviewed a DVD copy of my weekly watches. The Night of the Generals. This was a brilliant, brilliant war film. One you watch something and regret that you haven't seen it before. Great cast. Peter O'Toole, Omar Sharif, Tom Courtney, who a young Tom Courtney hard to recognise. Donald Pleasance. Just a great, great, great war film, and I'm glad now I can watch it on HD. Next Larry sent me. Mosquito Squadron, we were talking one day and I happened to mention that my favourite war films were air warfare films uh, and Larry watching Kermit's Ghost, one of Alan's videos and saw that this had been released one week picked me a cup of coffee cup of coffee, picked me up a copy and sent it over now I'm not sure whether I've seen this, I've seen this or 633 Squadron, I'm not sure which one but when I stick it on I'll find out which I don't think I, I think it's 633 Squadron, but I'm looking forward to getting into that. <coughs> Next up, Larry sent me another one I watched on DVD and reviewed recently, The Last Castle. It upgraded me now for a Blu-ray. That was another great film. Uh, Robert Redford, who I'm not really a fan of, but he turned me around on this. Really good performance. James Gandolfini, I've not really seen much of him. I've never seen The Sopranos. I think I need to get into that. Uh, Mark Ruffalo, great, great actor. Yeah, great film that was. Really, really liked it. And now I can watch it on HD and a worthy addition to my library. And last up, and probably the most special of all that he sent me, one of my favourite films now, H, uh, HD upgrade to 4K, Parasite. One of the best films, I think, in recent years. If you've not seen this, give it a watch. Don't watch any trailers. Don't read up. Let it unfold. Amazing, amazing stuff. So, yeah, that's all the stuff Larry sent me recently. Just unbelievable, mate. You deserve your own video. Thanks for being me, mate, over the last few months. And James as well. It's been difficult last few months for me. 
appreciate everything that you two guys have done for me. Love you both. I'll be back soon with some more stuff that I've picked up. Stuff that my dad's given me. Thank you, Dad. And, uh, yeah, love you guys. See you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, I'm back again. You know, I was uploading this video and I was thinking, happy as Larry. Why do we say that? How do we get to that? Well, I looked it up. Apparently, in the 1870s, Larry Foley, who was an Australian boxer, undefeated, and his last fight, he won $1,000, which I should imagine in 1870 was a lot of money. And he was as happy as Larry. Now you know. Goodbye.